everyone, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with nail polish favourites for January 2022, everything that I wore this month, which wasn't a lot. Um, I actually suffered from a ton of nail breaks in January. If you watched any of my previous videos this month, you would have heard me mention it a lot because I broke three nails over the Christmas period. So I still wore nail polish through the month, but I just didn't do a lot of swatches. So we have some new wears, we have some re-wears, and then also I did do a few swatch videos once my nails got long enough. So uh, yeah, not a lot to talk about polish wise. Well, I say not a lot, there's 12 polishes here. So let's get going into what I wore in January. Of the new wears to me, I have one mainstream and this is from Essie and it's called Polarizing. This was a random on a whim at TK Maxx purchase. I was kind of umming and ahhing over it because with these super like white base shifty polishes, you either get something really opaque, uh, which this was, or you get stuff that's kind of on the borderline. Um, and I think it was in, oh my goodness, what collection came out recently? That uh, Zoya one that I reviewed for this month, Dazzle, the Alexis one in there. I have a ton of that type of polish where they're white and they're frosty and they're shimmery, but they're not quite opaque. I have maybe five or six of those in my collection. I really want polishes that are opaque and that have dimension and difference to them rather than having more of the same that I already own. So I grabbed it. It was great. Um, it was a really like icicle polar type polish it got completely opaque in three coats had a really subtle like purpley bluey icy shift to it if you can get this one i would recommend three coats of essie's polarizing we have five indie polishes the first one is a uk polish and this is mist by 516 polish um, i picked this one out to wear for my pantone picks for this year although i did already have it it wasn't something that i'd uh, bought for the video but it matched the theme really really well um, 516 is a newish brand to me still but everything that I've tried I've really enjoyed and I do like to try and shop small shop British um, homegrown um, a lot more these days so mist from 516 beautiful gorgeous two coat cream beautiful another uk one for this month um is going to be ardas nails hanami which was what part of their contribution to a polish pickup month so it's something a little bit different for them they don't tend to have that many flaky polishes and i love flakies so please others nails do so many more flakies um and it's like a cherry blossomy pinky purple base and then we have some holographic in there we have some large multi-chrome uh, opalescent flakies in there and I think it was meant to look like cherry blossoms or something like that with the polish pickup theme um, I really love this one it got beautifully opaque in two coats just a nice kind of like metallic-y glowy hollow gorgeous combination um, I think I'm saying that right Hanami by Ida's Nails I've just realized that all the indies are pretty much this month are uh, UK or EU, so that's pretty cool. Um, not planned, but a nice happy surprise. The one I'm wearing on my nails today is by Prism Polish, and this is called Magma. And this is one of those blackened uh, multi-chromes that came out last year. I showed the I Love Nail Polish one in my yearly favourites, and it reminded me that I did pick up Prism Polishes. It's not the same. This is more of a blackened red. I would say Eclipse by an I Love Nail Polish is more black black, whereas this is a like black black red kind of combination. Um, still equally as stunning and definitely shows that we can do it here in the UK too. Um, so if you haven't, I think that this is one of the ones that she does kind of keep restock because it was so popular. But I will link all the indies down below for you. Uh, love wearing it today. Two coats of Magma by Prism Polish. And then we have a European Indie and this one is another one from Miss Sparkle, part of their Care Bears collection, which I did kind of clear out and I got a lot of them. And then this is Love A Lot Bear. So if you've seen any of these in previous videos, white base curly with glitters in it. And the glitters for Love A Lot Bear are no surprise. They are pink and they are also yellow. There was a um, large um, pink hearts in there. I did get them out very easily. I just tipped it upside down before I wore it, which is what I do with all of my white base uh, glitter heavy crellies um, and yeah nice mixture of pink and yellow like hexes and then also the pink hearts in it so another one I love these white base crellies I will buy them forever so on there is two coats of love a lot there by uh, Miss Sparkle our last indie is one that does not exist anymore and this is one from hair polish and this is asteroid turf um, a video that I have just or it's going to be the next video put up features a lot of hair polishes um, so I thought I would go through and wear some of the ones that I haven't worn considering I've got so many more just joining the family so Asteroid Turf is a quite a simple mix where it is a green with a lavendery cerisey pink it's kind of the 
Hanami colour, that colour, in the green base. And for something that is literally just green with that glitter in a base, it's just beautiful and sophisticated, where you sometimes you don't need all these jazzy mixtures. Believe me, a lot of the time you need the jazzy mixers. But sometimes just having cream and glitter, beautiful. So that one was two coats of asteroid turf, but I'm sorry, the hair does not exist anymore, so I'm teasing you once again. And then we had four rewears that I wore whilst my nails were growing out. The first one is from Orly, and this is Feeling Foxy. Um, a beautiful, really, really dark purple, but still retaining mm. the purple. So dark, but uh, not dark enough. One or two coats. I still think two coats make it better for opacity. But I rewore Feeling Foxy. I rewore Triton by Picture Polish, and this is the collaboration with the Mermaid Polish. Some of these were because I was wearing them for my yearly favourites, so I pulled them back out. Our friend is here for yearly favourites, so um, I decided that I would pull them out and then keep them out and wear them. Sorry, my daughter is just here out of camera sight. She's uh, trying to keep quiet for you guys. Um, so yeah, that was two coats of Triton by Picture Polish. I rewore um, Pampered Polish's Blast Ended Scroot, which was a collaboration collection that I did with Timberlin and the brand a few years ago. Um, and this is an orange base, like a burnt orange base with black glitters in there. Just was feeling the vibes of this. And these were all of my rewears were quite darkish colours. I was clearly in that sort of mood. Uh, so three coats of Blast Ended Scroot by Pampered Polishes. And the last rewear for this month was a Dart by um, Dolish Polish. Again, Again, I was into some darker polishes this month and this is a really nice dark multi-chrome hollow and this came out in the Stranger Things collection, uh, Stranger Things 2 I think. Uh, so that was the last polishes of the month, Dart by Dolish Polish. So that is what I wore in um, January this year. Um, I hope you all had a great start to 2022. Um, and yeah, I'm filming a bunch of videos over this weekend. So there'll be lots of content coming for you all. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you wore in January and I will see you soon. Bye.